Well, hello there. Welcome to Get Weld Soon. So we've been welding on this uh, two inch pipe here, pipe tube, whatever. The last video, I uh, flushed it out. So it's ready for the cap and I'm gonna put the hat on it just like I promised you in the last video. And uh, it's pretty cold right now. I'm gonna heat it up a little bit with a torch because it just flows better. And uh, hopefully it'll turn out pretty, pretty decent. Something I definitely want you to remember is to leave this edge, this bottom edge of the bevel, uh, leave it for a straight line to follow. That way you can make your first bead nice and straight as possible because all the others will follow. So as usual, I'll fire up on the side and back drag down to where you want to start. Very important to do that, don't forget. Uh, and then you just keep it right at the edge of that that uh, straight line that you left, the, uh, the edge of the bevel that you can still see, and just keep it as straight as possible. Go from the bottom all the way to the top. All right, so I ran my first stringer. You can see that it, I think it's pretty straight. Slag's coming off easy. That's always good. There you have it. There's the first bead. So something I didn't talk about is where I hold my rod. Uh, you want to hold your rod just above this and just, just enough to make sure your puddle uh, rolls right over this and melts into that edge really good because you don't want to hold it up too high and then you can still see that edge. You definitely want to cover that up. So I back drag again down to my other start. Make sure you tie in really good and then uh, just keep a good consistent bead nice and straight. Just follow that line that you got and all the way to the top. I'm gonna let this one run all the way to the top so you can see that I do actually weld all the way to the top without stopping. I probably should have got a, uh, a view from the top welding, but uh, anyway, I didn't think of that until afterwards. That, that might have been helpful to some people, but anyway, I don't, I don't have it on this video. Maybe next time. Usually, most people have uh, the most trouble on the bottom side, so that's why I recorded the, bo the bottom. All right, I've welded the second side. Knock the slag off, see what it looks like. All right, tied in good. Looks pretty straight. Top tied in decent. I think we're gonna be all right. So I like to weld one side and then the other back and forth until I'm done when I'm capping. You can do it however you want, but that's how I prefer to do it. So from here on out, the bead below you will be your guideline. Just make sure that puddle flows over it about halfway and uh, stay consistent, steady and straight. All right, so here is the last bead around the tube. So you wanna try to prevent undercut here. It's very important on this bead. Um, you wanna angle the rod up towards the top of the tube just a little bit. And what that does is it kind of pushes that puddle upwards, up the tube a little bit, and uh, helps pre prevent undercut. Just go slow, make sure that puddle fills up nice and full as you go. Uh, if you go too fast, too quickly, it won't allow the puddle to fill up as good and you'll end up with undercut. Same thing on this side. This is the last, last bead of the cap. All 
All right, so I've welded my, my last stringer on. I haven't even chipped it yet. I just want you to verify. You don't think I'm cheating or something silly. Uh, don't look too terrible. Let me clean it up with a wire wheel. Yo, watch your eyeballs. There you have it, fellas and ladies. Bottom gives a lot of people trouble. They always end up with knots on the bottom. It just takes practice. Uh, learn how to tie in quickly without, without leaving a lump. There's the top. Top don't look as pretty as I was hoping, but hey, can't win them all. Well, that there, boys and girls, is how you put the hat on. That ain't the prettiest hat. I never said I was the best, but it'll do. I'm pretty happy with it uh, since it's been a while since I've done any welding like this uh, very much. So, anyhow, I'm pretty pleased with it. I hope you guys learned something. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Give me the old thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one.